Hello, and welcome back to our quarterly series where we will discuss trends in how consumers are shopping for auto, homeowners, and renters insurance. At JD Power, we survey between 500 and 1,000 U.S. consumers every day to keep our finger on the pulse of consumer behaviors around shopping for insurance and potentially switching to a new insurer. We aggregate this data in our loyalty, indicator, and shopping trends, or list product. List is available to subscribers on a real-time basis, and we share high-level industry trends with the public quarterly. In this video series, we take a deeper dive into those high-level trends. You may recall the second half of 2023 saw a dip in auto insurance shopping after high rates of shopping in the first half of the year. We attributed this drop to the fact that as nearly all insurers were continuing to take rate through 2023, after substantial increases in 2022, it was increasingly difficult for consumers to find a lower premium on their auto insurance when they did shop. We hypothesized then that consumers re were resigning to higher auto insurance premiums as they found it increasingly difficult to find a lower premium. We also said we would keep our eyes on consumer behavior as 2024 was shaping up to be another year of increasing premiums for auto insurance. Wondering if the continued pressure on household budgets would spur a new renaissance in auto insurance shopping. It turns out that renaissance has arrived in Q1. After yet another quarter of rate taking across the industry, consumers are back to shopping. In fact, the Q1 2024 shopping rate is the highest we have seen throughout this hard market cycle at 12.8%. Shopping increased month over month throughout the quarter which led to March having the highest monthly shop rate in the history of List at 13.5%. Since most of the focus in this hard market cycle has been on the inflationary effects of loss costs and the resulting multi-year upward trend in auto insurance premiums, we stepped back in Q1 to look at the longer trend in reasons consumers cite for shopping auto insurance. Through all of 2022, the leading primary reason for shopping was, I'm just browsing rates, indicating a passive shopping experience conducive to price checking. For the last few quarters, consumers stating my rate was too high has been the leading primary reason for shopping, increasing from 16.9% in Q1 of 2022 to 21.3% in Q1 of 2024. Also, consumers saying my rate recently increased, not due to a claim, has nearly doubled over that same time period, from 7.9% to 14.6%. Turning to some trends at the carrier level, breaking the trend from last quarter, Progressive, rather than State Farm, provided quotes to the largest share of shoppers in Q1 at 26%, followed closely by State Farm at 24% and Allstate at 21%. Consistent with providing more quotes, Progressive acquired the largest share of consumers who switched auto insurers in Q1, winning just over 18% of those who switched. State Farm was next at 11.4%. Allstate, Geico, and USAA round out the top five destinations for switchers at 10.1, 8.8, and 5.2% respectively. After gaining substantial market share in 2023, it looks like State Farm is continuing that trend at the beginning of 2024. The large share of switchers won by State Farm is contrasted by State Farm having only the fourth largest share of consumers switching away from the brand, at 9.8% of all switchers in Q1 leaving State Farm. Progressive, Geico, and Allstate lost the largest share of switchers at 12.1, 10.9, and 9.9% respectively. Although carrier pullouts from states like Florida and California cooled homeowners and bundled auto and home shopping recently in those markets, on a national basis, we see homeowners insurance shopping increase this quarter to 6.7% from 6.2% in Q4 of last year. Switching also increased to 2.4% from 2.2% in Q4. Unlike trends we see for homeowners policies, shopping for renters insurance decreased slightly in Q1 down a small six basis points to 5.71%, and switching fell substantially from 3.7% in Q4 down to 3.3% in Q1. 
We are excited to announce many enhancements coming to the list product this summer that will make their way into this video series later this year. We will be adding new questions to our survey, and we will also be marrying third-party auto insurance premium data to each survey respondent's data, data record so that we can go beyond the PIF count analyses and into analyses at the premium dollar level. We will be sure to share more as these data become available. If you are interested in learning more about how consumers are shopping for auto, homeowners, and renters insurance, please download our complimentary list report today and take this opportunity to reach out to us to learn more about list and the subscription options we have available.